custom functions. Here we go. So we're going to create a voice assistant from scratch. So voice assistant there. And I'm just going to repurpose this number that I have. So I'm going to update that. I'm going to add the assistant. All right. So this is a new voice assistant, brand new here. I'm going to change this. Um, we're going to say to collect if they are showing up to an appointment or not. And to preface this, by the way, if you're not as technical, I would probably um, adventure into it because it's fun, but it's definitely going to be a beta product for more technical people. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to configure mine to how I usually like it, which is just these metrics here. Great. I'm not even going to do a flow builder for this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say task. Um, inform the user you are calling to confirm their appointment. Ask the user if they are still showing up to the appointment. All right. Then we'll say, we're going to come back here. So we're going to create our custom function. So this is the custom function creator here. So go to custom function. There you go. I'm going to call this appointment confirmation. I'm going to say, call this function to confirm, um, to confirm the appointment status in the CRM. All right, and then I have this one open. It's just this other one I have. I'm just going to pull this inbound webhook URL. It's just from high level as a trigger. So another cool thing in here is we have uh, AI that will reformat your JSON or format your JSON for you. So we're going to go here and we're going to say, um, I want to send the status of an appointment either yes, we'll just say confirmed, either yes or no. And we're gonna let AI format that JSON, perfect. And then we're gonna say, as the speech, so as the assistant is performing this action, what's it gonna say? Let's say, let me mark that down for you. I'm gonna save those settings. I'm also going to add in call here because I'm just going to have it in the call. So we have our custom one here, which is going to send to this endpoint, which I have here. And then I don't really need anything else with this one. I guess we'll select the calendar. We don't need it, but I'll select it. We're going to say task, inform the user that they are calling to schedule the appointment, ask if they're showing up. I'm going to set the conditional here and just say... If the user is going to show up, call the function. And what do we call it? Appointment confirmation. With the value, yes. I'm just going to simply copy and paste this over. For if they're not going to show up, just send no. If the user is not going to show up, not bot, not going to show up, call the function appointment confirm with the value no, then politely thank the user for their time and call the function and call. Easy enough. Look how easy that was. Let me make sure I got this name right. Appointment confirm. So I'm going to change this here, appointment confirm, and then appointment. Oh, I did put it in right. Easy enough. So I'm going to call it now via inbound call. And then I need to map what it's going to say because, you know, we, we obviously, if this is a, a blank trigger for this this workflow, we don't know what it's going to say yet. So I'm going to call it just to initiate the workflow and then we're going to test it out. So I'm going to call it. Hi, Jordan. This is Haley. I'm calling to confirm your appointment. Are you still able to make it? Yep. 
Great. I've confirmed your appointment. Thanks for your time, Jordan. Have a great day. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Appointment confirmed. How awesome. All right. So I'm just going to find it by the from number. And then what we're going to say is for this contact, um, you know, maybe we'll, we'll add a tag or uh, let's see. Let's see what we can do. What kind of fun stuff can we get into? So status of appointment, we'll do workflow trigger. All right, so most recent appointment, perfect. So let's do an FLT here. So we can use that. We're gonna say confirmed. I'm gonna say if this uh, this argument, appointment confirmation is yes, I might even do contain yes. Awesome. And the other branch is no. If the AI came in and said no, we're gonna do something else. And then if it didn't say anything, then we're crazy. All right, so let's update appointment status. If it said yes, we're gonna confirm it. And if it said no, then we probably need to cancel it, right? No. I don't know if I have, and I, I may want to tie this in here. I don't know if I have, I do. It's a from number. I'm gonna just find find myself by number. All right, this looks good. Allow reentry, good. And let's go to my contact. I think this should be under my name. Oh yeah, spelled my name wrong. I don't remember if there's an appointment book. There is. Okay, so there is an appointment book. So there is an appointment booked here, and so we're gonna try to confirm this with the AI. That same one we just set up, super simple. Okay, so I'm gonna call it and I'm gonna confirm and say yes. And we're gonna see if this changes. Hello? Hi, Jordan, I'm just calling to confirm your appointment. Are you still planning to come? Yep. Yep, I'll be there. Great. Perfect. Great. You, you did you did time. everything you need. Bye. All right, look at that. Your assistant is now connected to the world. How easy was that? This is a seven minute video, but I mean, now that you see this probably take three minutes. Imagine the stuff you can do for your clients. I mean, appointment, I mean, look at this. Appointment confirmation is gonna be insane. There's so much fun stuff you can do with this. I hope this is cool. This is a beta. So if something messes up, Sorry, not sorry. Um, but I've tried to make it super easy with the the builder here. Just tell it what you want. We'll build it for you. Um, and most of the nuances I've taken care of. So <laughs> how fun is that? I've had a ton of fun with this thing. Um, super cool. I appreciate everybody. Have fun with it.